Hello guys. I need to pause the music. I've got to school weekly on and it's a weird song actually. Welcome to what I think will be the last vlog pre-Christmas. Um, how are we all? This vlog is going to contain a sponsorship with Arquette and alongside that I wanted to say thank you all for just all the general support um, recently because I know there's been quite a lot of sponsored YouTube videos. It's all just from long ongoing collaborations, so I hope you haven't minded, but I am mindful that they've kind of all come at once. Um, but hopefully you've still enjoyed it all. Um, back home, back home in London, which feels so, so, so nice. I've obviously got house updates for you. Um, it's not all finished. We wish it was, but it's not all finished. Such seems to be the way with these things and the price you pay for actually not necessarily being here while work's going on but um you live and learn that's all you can do and i am excuse me though so glad to be back the bathroom it's nearly there very nearly there it will be finished this week there's the finishing touches and i actually just want to show you guys it when it's finished it will be in this vlog i'm pretty sure it will be in this vlog yeah it will um so you guys will see it but just not right now but it's looking great i need to kind of go get some plants and things I might actually go get a plant today. Um, and yeah, I mean, I put some artwork up. This is the changes in the kitchen. Put some washing out. I'm gonna go put that away now. But yeah, put my two prints that have been with me for many years in many homes now here. And this calendar, let me spin you around. This calendar that I got at a shop in New York called Goods for the Study. It's by Midori, which is a Japanese um, stationary brand. I'll try to find a link. I put this on Instagram and so many people wanted it. And my Dylan print is up. Again, I've had this, I got this in Manchester actually, for ages. I love this print so much. Um, and yeah, everything's looking good. Some insulation here, lovely. Uh, bookshelves are all gonna happen next year. I want it to be here for that bit, to kind of just visualize it a bit better than doing it remotely, obviously. Sofa, it's looking amazing. Love it so much. Um, and this is my attempt to be festive. Just a little side stocking, really. Um, but yeah, it feels so good to be back. Hello. Um, I'm seeing Simon today, which I'm really looking forward to. I haven't seen him so, so, so long. Obviously, it's been so nice catching up with friends. So I'm just waiting for him to get here. Might make my second coffee of the day. Um, just working. Oh, this jumper is actually one of the Arquette ones. May as well, may as well start this now. Um, another navy blue jumper. I hear you all cry. My Uniqlo ones, one of the Uniqlo ones, I, it had to be thrown out. It got so bobbly past the point of even being de-bobbled. Um, so I had a, a navy, a navy blue cashmere hole, believe it or not, in my wardrobe. Um, I know you guys are going to be so bored of seeing navy blue jumpers. They are genuinely what I wear every day. This is just um, an Arquette one. I'll link it in the description box. I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I know navy blue jumpers up to here, but this is just a really nice kind of light cashmere one. The, the blue one I got before I went away was the really heavy merino wool one, the men's one, whereas this is a much just, it's, it's kind of like the Uniqlo ones really. Slightly different fit, slightly actually straighter fit. The Uniqlo ones have more of a, like a roundness in the body. Um, so yeah, just, I mean, I, I won't go on about it. I wear them all the time, as you guys know. Um, and I've got more exciting Arquette bits to show you as well, which I will share as and, as and when I wear them throughout the week. Um, I've got a really good coat, which I can't wait to share with you, actually. Uh, put this plant here. Really liking how that's looking there. Um, still deciding where to put these two pictures. It's the big, the big blue one and the trapea one, which was in the kitchen at my old place. Uh, can't decide where to put them just yet. But isn't everything looking lovely? local posh spa that I wanted to show you guys. I hadn't shown you that yet and it really is a highlight of the area. 
Now I'm just off to hopefully buy a plant for the bathroom, but might be a bit early in the day for that. Good morning, guys. On my way out into town, haircut, all sorts going on. Um, I am showing you this Arquette coat. I've got because of haircut day hat is on head. Uh, Vancouver one, you can guess where I got that from. I've got an old jump from Ray, toe ten leggings, Haru boots, and then this is the coat that I got from Arquette. It's from the men's department. I have it in, I don't think I have it in a small size. I think I have it, I'll write it in the description box what size it is. Um, but it's just a really nice shaped, simple wool coat. Uh, it's not too big on the shoulders because the shoulders are kind of dropped. I actually don't think it looks like a men's piece at all, which is working very much in my favour. Um, and yeah, it's got the nice like bend in the back and things. It's not lined, but it's all woolly and cosy and lovely. Um, and just a really nice shape and also really nice length, kind of in between having a super long coat on, which I really like. I was wearing my really long Ray one in New York the whole time, but it's quite nice to have a shorter, slightly shorter option as well. So yes, here is the second Arquette piece in this video. I only have, do I just have one more piece to show you after this? I think I do. Um, which is something actually very cosy and good for Christmas. Um, off I go. We're walking to Shoreditch first to get some bits there and then into town from there. I must pick up a face mask. I don't know what bag to take. I think a black bag. Hmm. Oh no, maybe my blue Celine bag. Yeah, maybe the blue Celine. Good morning, guys. Um, here to show you the last Arquette pieces. The... <laughs> Got a bit of a problem going on. The um, the the builders are here working at the moment. Um, it's all going to be finished today, so I can show you everything later today. They're going to do the big clean up with me, and then we can see all the finished bathroom and stuff. But I've got these really fluffy, comfy socks from Arquette, and I've left one of them in the bathroom, and I can't go back and get it because I just find things like that too awkward. And I think they'll have moved it anyway, so I've only got one sock on to show you. But the other is here somewhere. <laughs> just don't go and get it. Which also is like the most British thing ever to not just be able to go and ask. Anyway, the cardigan is also from Arquette. I'm just wearing it around the house at the moment, but I've been wearing it out and about as well. Um, it's so nice and cosy, really nice, oversized, slouchy, comfy cardigan. I've got it in a small so you can get a sense of how big it is as well. Um, it's got quite a low neckline, so it doesn't sort of sit like a crew neck. Um, I've just got a tank top on underneath it but it looks great with a crew neck t-shirt on as well. Really good layering. It's so comfy. And then this is the sock, this, the, the lone sock. <laughs> They're like really, oh, it kind of looks quite gray on camera, but it's really, um, it's more like an oatmeal-y sort of a color. Let's go to the other mirror and see if that's any better. A little bit. Anyway, they're like really thick, really cozy. Let me put my coffee down so really thick really cozy bed socks really nice and thick and they do come as a pair you don't have to wear just the one of them like i am right now but i think they're like a really good little crisp pre-christmas treat hopefully for christmas morning do you know who i feel a bit like i'm dressed as um cameron diaz in the holiday right now but it's less chic obviously but all of this oatmeal color very much the vibe isn't it around this chair um, yeah, like I said, the cardigan is great to wear out about as well. Ow, I just, there we go. there's a sock angle. Um, and hopefully this afternoon when we clear through the bathroom and tidy everything up, we'll find the second sock, which will be exciting. Just um, finishing my coffee, do a bit of work, and then popping over to Lindsay's to shoot our final projects together of the year. About to do my daily lateral flow test, um, because this new variant is truly everywhere in London. It, London feels so weird right now. I'm sure other places in the world do as well, but it's such a strange feeling. It's just dead everywhere at a time when it would normally be so busy the week before Christmas. Um, it's really rubbish, but anyway, we just do what we've got to do, don't we? So I'm just going to do this test to make sure that's all fine before I go out. Um, oh my gosh, Prada sent loads of Christmas decorations. Unfortunately, I don't have a tree. How insane of these 
Isn't these some fairy lights? And also, this is the most chic thing I think I own. Excuse that sound. This is a Prada pouch to hold playing cards. Now we await the day where I have like people over and someone goes, oh, fancy card game. No one's ever been in this house and said that, but any friends watching, take note of what I'm trying to manifest here. Oh, fancy card game. And I go, oh, just a minute. And then produce my Prada pouch with my Prada cards. And probably never have any friends ever again, actually, because it's just totally over the top, isn't it? <laughs> Life in London right now. We're negative. We're going home. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. So I'm on a 6 p.m. train today. So excited to get home. So excited to see Ouija. Just making some toast. So excited to see mum as well. But I did see mum last weekend, actually, when as soon as I got back here. Um, yeah, we're just making toast. I've got one more job to shoot. My final job of the year, which I'm doing today. And we're almost all packed. Having a bit of a sad time because I've very nearly run out of Marmite. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to have enough for my toast. Um, I just need to go to the last Christmas shopping. Unbelievably last minute before. And also show you guys the bathroom before, before I go home. And then in the new year, there's like a few more bits happening, which I'll update you on as and when we go. I I know I know where the lack of content's been and it's in the mince pie department, hasn't it? Um, I don't think there's a person on in this country, especially in this city, who has felt normal and festive this Christmas. I'm like a total Scrooge anyway, but the mince pies are what keep me going. Aside from like obviously having come back midway through December and then coming back to London in this really strange state because of the new variant. It just hasn't felt, hasn't felt really festive at all in any way. Um, so yeah, mince pies when I get home. I'll probably put that content on Instagram stories for you if I'm honest because I think this is going to be the last video of the year. Um, Pre-Christmas and then I'll come back in the new year with you all. So if you want mince pie content, it's going to be on Instagram stories I'd say. And we'll hit the ground running. You know, we've still got a couple of weeks of the festive season. Let's say we average two mince pies a day, and I'm willing to take one for the team and do that. Not all heroes wear capes. Um, you know, that's still a good potentially 28 mince pies I can talk about. So it's not bad, is it? Maybe I'll try to get one today on my travels, actually. I have to go to Ozone and see if they do one. Um, anyhow, yeah, I'm just making my Marmite toast. And then. Um, I'm going to show you guys the bathroom. I, I love it. It's so, there's a few more bits that need doing, which you're going to see, and that's all going to make sense. But I love it so much. It kind of feels exactly how I was hoping it would feel. Um, I've been really enjoying having baths in there. That god awful light's gone. Do you guys remember that light? So intense. Um, so, yeah, I'm so, so, so pleased. And like everywhere's just actually feeling really lovely in the house, which is so nice. I need to go and get some more Marmite. Oh, I'm going to have to have one with just butter and one with Marmite. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, here we go. This plant is permanently at once dying and thriving. Like partly dead leaves, but also constantly new leaves. So we just leave that. I've had this here. Let's turn it on, actually. It looks really nice. Turned on here. And then the glass bricks still a bit of painting and it needs another coat of paint over all of that but they had to replaster it but the glass bricks are in and they look so good and then welcome to the bathroom i am so 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 pleased with it so as you may remember the tiles were sent to me they were gifted from yorkshire tile company these are matte white mosaic ones with grey grouting. And then this floor, which is my favourite thing, they're kind of like terracotta tiles. I love them so much. It matches the wood so nicely. Let me also turn this off so you can kind of see it in more natural light. Um, so the things that still are yet to be done is that this window is being made bigger next year. So that extractor fan's being changed and that's why the window is a bit of a mess. So it's going to come out here. And I need to get a mirror. Hello, this one is just propped here for now. But actually, 
Initially, I was going to sort of mirror the whole wall, similar to how I've done downstairs. But having seen this here with the wooden frame, I really like how it looks. So I'm just going to do some vintage shopping in the new year when I'm back from up north and find a really big mirror that's similar to that just to go here. But I mean, there's no rush in this right now. Just a really nice plan. I've got my towels. I've gone for like mismatched towel vibe. This needs an iron. Shower curtains don't drop despite my, despite my hope. Um, this plant I'm loving here. Um, and yeah, the glass bricks, which are just, I love them so, so, so much. I'm so pleased with it all. Um, yeah, really, I, I love it. I can't believe, I already almost can't remember what it was like before. And um, when it was just so dark and so blue with the like Moroccan tiles as well. Obviously I need to get a new bath mat, but I'll just keep updating you guys as I go and get all the new bits to sort out some storage in here. But my plan is this I found in the basement. I think I already said that. And I'm just going to get some like kind of drawer system. I was wanting to get the like ones from Muji, but they don't have the right size. So as you can see, stuff just under there at the moment, but in time to have drawers in there and then have the bathroom things in there. Um, but yeah, I'm loving it all so much. I really, it's not all quite fully finished. Every rest is a bit of a mess, as you can see. Um, and it's going to be a later problem because I've decided to go home sooner rather than later and get out of London while I can. Um, just because it's really, everyone seems to be coming down with COVID here. So um, when I get back, we'll kind of finish, do all the finishing touches and I'll share it all and then do like the big post building clean and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's looking so, so, so great. It's also a lot bigger. Um, before this wall started like here. So the bath was here basically. So it's a whole bath width larger now. And I really like the little ledge that I asked them to do. It's perfect for putting a glass of wine on um, and just really relaxing. So I'm so, so, so pleased with it. It's all looking great. I'm ready to go out, guys. Wearing other boots, I'm very happy about it. Um, just trying to think if I've got anything else to show you really anywhere. Sofa softening in. It's not a comfy sofa, truth be told. But it's softening in. Oh, I love it so much. I love the colour of it so, so much. The shape and everything. I'm so glad I got it. But yeah, not comfy. Some, always some stuff on the table. Oh, this is up properly, which looks great. And actually, so is this. It's the hallway. My tripeo one. So everything is kind of slowly but surely. Put these up as well through the Ouija drawings. Everything's slowly but surely coming together. The garden's a mess. These are up, I showed you already, didn't I? Right, let's go get coffee and some Christmas bits. These Prada baubles. <laughs> yeah, everywhere's looking so nice. Oh, that was like a bit of a tour, so you get a sense of how it leaps all the way around then, actually. Steak burger and chips. Oh my God, it's all, it's all on my face. <laughs> That's so awful. I'm awful. Just ate that in about under five minutes. <sighs> During my period, and I, like my appetite's insatiable, which is a pretty good time in the week before Christmas. I'm going to go home and mum can feed me absolutely inordinate amounts of food. Um, I'm going to sign off this vlog. I really hope you've enjoyed it. That there's good, ignore that. There's going to be loads more house content in the new year, obviously. Um, thank you to Arquette once again for working with me. Um, Thank you all for all the support and for everything this year. There's already some exciting things coming up next year, which I can't wait to tell you in the new year. I'm really looking forward to this, just the new year, actually, even though we're kind of going into it in, in certain ways. Um, hopefully there'll be reasons to be positive. <laughs> well, we've got to stay positive somehow, don't we? Um, so yeah, everyone have an amazing Christmas. Have an amazing new year. Don't come and talk to me about my fringe. And I will speak to you all very soon.